Hi, and welcome back to Old Mac New Life. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the communications hardware in the Power Mac G5 by adding the Bluetooth and modem modules. Let's get right to it. Okay, let's get this case opened up. Found. Okay, let's get the plastic cover off. Okay. <clears throat> Pull up the screwdriver. Okay, just to make some more room to work with, I'm gonna remove this piece here. There's just a couple of um, <clears throat> a couple of screws in there holding it in. Okay, just pulls out. Okay, then we need to disconnect and here. Can you see it? A couple of uh, wires can I get to the motherboard? Plug those. Okay. There you go. Good lord. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get the modem bit here. Okay, and right here is the place where the filter cable connects to. Yeah, it's pretty small. The cable itself is pretty small. And I think you are. Let's just plug in. Alright. And see the connector under here? That's gonna, gonna connect into this on the main board. Plug in. Look at there we go. Okay. Mounting screws. There's one. Okay, I have the modem installed now. Okay, ready now to install the Bluetooth. Uh, first step is going to be to install the antenna cable port right here. Ah. Got it. We got that. There's a connector here. Plugs into the connector on the motherboard. Right in there. It. Go ahead and get you in. That did it. Okay, there it goes. Yay. All right. Now we need a couple of screws here. Tiny screws, too. They're small. <laughs> hey, that's the perfect fit. Perfect. Okay, with the modem and Bluetooth now installed, uh, it's time to close it back up and move on to the next step. Need to expose the uh, port for the modem. Right here, it's got covered up with a plastic tab. A little sponger. Gently uh, huh? around here. <laughs> uh. And there you are. Okay, ready to plug in the Bluetooth antenna, which just goes here in the port marked with the Bluetooth logo. And that's it. Okay, I think we're ready to hook this back up and see if everything's working. Okay, well, the first test is, does the system even see the hardware? So, let's go into System Profiler, also known as about this Mac, or Info. 
the Bluetooth, and yes indeed, she is seeing the Bluetooth card. And that modem. Network, modems, and look at that. She is right there. Okay, that's the first test. The second test is, does this actually work? Okay, to test the Bluetooth, I have here a magic mouse and a magic keyboard. So, uh, let's go give this a shot. Okay, back at the Power Mac. Let's, uh, see if we can't get these to work. Maybe try the mouse first. There you go. Shiny new batteries. Okay. Just powered on the mouse, see if we can find it. Does it the mouse? Hmm, could that be you? Found something. Okay, let's uh try that off this. I think it just twitched when I moved to the wire. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we got the Bluetooth mouse, <coughs> the Bluetooth mouse working. Okay, now let's try the keyboard. Okay, I'm gonna power, or I'm gonna turn on the little, I'm gonna hit the little um, <coughs> find me button on the keyboard. Remember these to be a little more twitchy if I remember, but let's see what we have. Maybe push that while it's searching. Oh, found something. Here we go, okay. I think I, <laughs> no, hmm. <laughs> and done. Okay, so ready to test the modem. Since I don't think accessing the internet via dial-up is even an option with my setup, I'm going to try sending a fax. There's a catch. I did a little reading and it seems these old dial-up modems really wanted an analog phone signal. I'm on VYP, which is digital, so there's no guarantee this will work. However, my VYP does provide a fax mode, so it might. I've got my boss's permission to send the office a test fax, so let's see what happens. Okay, with the fax modem installed, you should be going able to go into the print dialog of any app that's going to have a print dialog, in this case Word. In the bottom left, there'll be a drop-down, say something like fax or fax PDF, like it does here. Well, click it. Okay, and in the text box labeled 2, you would enter the fax number you want to fax to. And in the text box labeled dialing prefix, you would enter, well, any dialing prefix you need to. Uh, for example, my VOIP service requires I enter a dialing prefix of star 99 to uh, enter fax mode. And macOS requires you enter a comma after the prefix. There are also some presets for color mode you can set. Um, since this is plain text, I'm going to choose black and white since that should reduce the amount of data that has to be transmitted. And that's still going to force me to enter the dialing prefix again, too. Oh well. And with that all set, we're ready to send our fax. Okay, I can go ahead and bring up the uh, status monitor. And it's reporting that the fax was successfully sent. That's going to about do it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. And if you like this type of video, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.